Hey everybody, and as we uh, like to do before we uh, embark on our breakneck through the Bible class as part of our Torch University every single Tuesday night, uh, we'd like to say a short Dvar Torah on this week's Parsha. On this week's Parsha is Vayetze, and we see that Jacob leaves his land from Be'er Sheva and he goes to Haran. And it says like this, Kiva Hashemesh. Why? Because the sun started to set, and so he he decided he'll rest there. But he kach me avnei hamakom, and he took from the stones of that place. Vayasem rashosav. Okay, and he placed it. Okay, again, I'm going to read this again. He took from the stones of the place and placed it around his head. Mirashotav. Vayishkav beavnei. And he lay down in that place. Well, what, what's the problem with what we just read? It starts off with a plural, right? Now this is the, this week's parsha on page one fifty-seven. Okay, I'm sorry. And it starts off with plural stones that he takes the stones, and then it says, and he took the stone and placed it under his head. Had its stones become stone? Preposition, you say from the stones, from many he took one. Okay, so either it could be from many he took one, or he was just stoned. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, Jacob's not stoned. God forbid. Right? So, so what really happened here? What really happened here is like this. Our sages tell us that these were 12 different stones that represented the 12 different tribes. And each one of these stones were saying, I want the righteous Jacob to rest his head on me. Everyone was saying, I want it on me, I want it on me, I want it on me. So God made a miracle. And the miracle was is that these stones coalesced, they joined together and became one stone. And now, Jacob had one stone that he was able to place under his head to use as a pillow to go to sleep. Okay, that's the story. Really? The Torah doesn't just tell us stories, we know, right? The Torah is telling us, a, teaching us a lesson. What's the lesson the Torah is teaching us here? The lesson that the Torah is teaching us is like this. Every single tribe, every single tribe had its own mission, had its own path, had its own, uh, you know, specific objective that it wanted to accomplish, the things that it wanted to, to accomplish. And yet... Even though everyone has their own mission, everyone has their own flag, everyone has their own leader, right? Because there were leaders of every tribe. But guess what? We're all united as one people. You know, yesterday in our class, we spoke about patience. And this is most of Mondays at 7.30 right here at the Torch Center. And one of the things that people don't understand is that Patience, all you need is to tolerate that someone else thinks differently than you. Or that someone else eats differently than you. Or that someone else thinks different or acts different or speaks differently than you. It's fine. It's okay. Not everyone has to think the way you think. Right? And not everyone has to pray the way you pray. And not everyone has to be a member of the same congregation as you, as you are. But what we do need to know is that when we're part of the same faith, we're even not part of the same faith. We're part of humanity. Our goal is to serve the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and to bring His glory to this world. So yes, we may do it in different ways. We have a different way to speak, and we may have a different way to learn or to understand. It's fine. You know, you think about it, in Judaism you have today, hundreds of different Hasidic sects. You have Bells, and you have Munkach, and you have Satmar, and you have Square, and you have uh, uh, um, and you have Babov, and you have Breslov, and you have uh, Lubavitch, and you have uh, you know, uh, you name it, you have you have a hundred different flavors, you have Kleisenberg, and, and you, there are just so many different you know, types of, uh, of, of Hasidic dynasties. And then you have the Lithuanian Jews, and then you have the Russian Jews, 
and then you have the Israeli Jews, and then you just have a melting pot of every type of Jew. When you go to Israel in any typical minion, in any type of shul, right, you'll have, a, it's a melting pot of, of Jews from every corner of the world. And you have Sephardic Jews from, from, from South America, you have Sephardic Jews from Spain, or from France, or from England, or from wherever they're at. And you have the German Jews. So, so what? So we're different. So what? We may, uh, again, as long as the one factor, our service of the Almighty, is the same Almighty. And that's what we don't divert from. We don't change and become a different people. We don't become an isolated people. Great, you have your own strand. Fine. That's perfectly fine. But remember that you're united together with the rest of the Jewish people. Remember that even though there were 12 different stones, they were able to convert to become one stone. And that's our responsibility. Our responsibility wherever we are, at every stage of our lives, find a way to bring peace and harmony, bring Jews together. It's okay, we don't have to, you know, wear the same type of... Uh, Clothes, and we don't have to, uh, you know, have membership in the same synagogue. We don't, we don't, we don't have to drive the same cars. And guess what? We don't either have to vote the same way. We have something which is far greater that unites us all, and that is that we are all creations of the Almighty. The Almighty is our God, and He created every single human on planet Earth, and every creation in our enormous universe. Everything. So that's our unity. That's where we're united. And what, what Jacob was, what was being symbolized by Jacob's stones, the 12 stones that became into one, is that even though there were these 12 different paths of the 12 different tribes, they were all unified with that one understanding that they need to be serving one God. And there are amazing stories that you can read in, in, in hopefully soon in our library. But you'll be able to, in many Jewish books, you'll be able to read stories of how even though Jews were dispersed to different countries and different lands and different places, we were always united as one when we got together. All right? Blessing to each and every one of us is that we should always remember and fight for peace and unity among our people. Amen. Amen. And have a wonderful Shabbos, everybody. Join us here at the Torah Center.